Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Ride or Die Drugstore Nude Lip Products. And all of these products are the ones that I keep inside my vanity because I use these on a daily. So if I didn't have a lip product, like a lip collection in my collection, these would be the only ones that I would really be content with having because I use these the most. And I'm super excited to finally share them with you guys. Some of them I like to kind of mix together just to get that perfect shade. Um, so I have gloss, I have lipstick, and I also have liquid lipstick as well as my favorite drugstore lip pencil. So I'm super excited to share these with you. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of my favorite drugstore ride or die nude lip products, then let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first First one I want to talk about is a lip gloss and this is what I wear by itself and I also like to wear it on top of the look um, the other lip products that I'm going to show you guys but this gloss is by NYX this is the NYX butter gloss in the shade praline these are my top favorite drugstore lip glosses I love how they're not sticky on the lips I love how they give you that color but it's not like super duper pigmented so this is good to wear alone or if you want to have more color on the lips you can definitely wear this on top of your favorite lip product so I'll swatch it on my hand and I'm also going to show you guys um, how it looks on the lips in a few minutes but this is what praline looks like swatched on the hand right there and then this is what it looks like on the lips. It's super creamy, super glossy, and this is just my go-to everyday lip gloss. So again, this is in the shade Praline. So that was actually the only lip gloss that I keep in my vanity that is a nude gloss from the drugstore. Um, but the next ones are lipsticks. So the first one I want to share is by Milani. Now this one has become one of my newer favorites. I purchased this about a month, a month and a half ago. Um, this is their new bold matte lipstick in the shade I Am Pretty. I love the formula of these lipsticks. They are super creamy, super, super, super comfortable on the lips, but they are matte. I'll go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see it. I love how, like, y'all have to at least try one of these if you have not. Like, it feels so good and creamy on the lips but that is I Am Pretty right there. And it's actually what I have on my lips right now. This is what I pair with a lip liner. So my favorite go-to drugstore lip liner is by LA Girl. This is in the shade Espresso. This is the perfect, perfect, perfect brown lip liner, you guys. I feel like if you own this, you don't need to own any other brown lip liner that is especially that's you know like high-end this is the perfect brown lip liner that you need in your collection so pretty so creamy too like it's not um rough or it doesn't feel like it's tugging on your lips when you apply it it applies really really easily but this is what i have paired with the milani lipstick in the shade i am pretty so here is a clip of me applying it and this is what it looks like up close the next one I have is by Revlon. These have become my favorite drugstore matte lipsticks. And the difference between these and the Milani is I feel like the Milani is a little bit more thicker than the ones by Revlon. These feel really thin, but they're super comfortable. And even though they are a matte lipstick, they're not too drying on the lips. But this one is in the shade Dare to be Nude. This is one that I have worn nonstop. I'm almost out of it, but it's a really pretty peachy nude color it is so pretty i just feel like this is just my everyday signature nude lip it's so pretty on the lips um and this is one that i also pair with the um the espresso lip liner so i'll just put a little bit of this on the lips if i don't want to wear it alone i'll go over it with the um espresso lip liner so here is what it looks like paired with the lip liner so this next one is another revlon lipstick in the shade superstar brown this is the most beautiful muted brown like it is so pretty if I had to pick my signature everyday brown lip I would pick this it is so pretty it's not too dark it's not too light it's just that perfect everyday type of brown like you know some brown lipsticks they're super dark super vampy um, but this one I feel like is just that perfect everyday brown lip and I love it so here is a clip of me wearing it right here. All right, so those were the only lipsticks that I keep in my vanity. Now let's go into the liquid lipsticks. So the first one I wanna share is by Black Radiance. This has become one of my favorites. I purchased this one um, earlier this month. I think it was earlier this month or the end of last month and I have been rocking this one like crazy. This is in the shade Mod Cougar and I wanna say 
This is a new shade. I've never seen this shade in the stores. Um, they had so many other ones that I have never seen. But when I saw this one, I felt like this one, like this was my everyday lip color. It is so pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch it too so you guys can see how this one looks super super pretty it's actually kind of similar to um superstar brown the revlon lipstick that we swatched was um but it's a little bit lighter so here is the one by black radiant swatched right there it's a little bit lighter than a superstar brown so this is like a mauvey brownie nude it's not as brown as the revlon lipstick but i love the color of this and even though it is a liquid like a matte liquid lipstick it dries down matte, but it's not like super duper drying. And every time I wear a liquid lipstick, I always wear like a lip balm on my lips before applying the liquid lipstick. So that way it won't feel too drying on the lips. So if you um, have any liquid lipsticks in your collection that you think are too drying or that just dries down too too matte or like it just feels like your lips are cracking i would suggest putting on a lip balm or even a little bit of lip gloss before you apply your liquid lipstick but yeah that one is really cute really pretty and this is like my everyday go-to liquid lipstick besides the ones that i'm going to share in a few minutes and again that is in the shade mod cougar so this next one is actually a recent purchase of mine i purchased this about two weeks ago and this is in the shade explore it's by l'oreal i forgot the actual name of these but these are their new liquid lipsticks this one is in the shade explore and these are really really different like the texture is super duper watery but it does give you a nice amount of color on the lips. I'll go ahead and show you guys a close-up. There it is right there. And it's really, it's kind of like that nude brick brownie color, if that makes sense. So it's kind of brown. It's kind of like a brick red. But it's not too red and it's not too brown. It's like that perfect in-between. But yeah, the formula is really wet. But it does dry down to a matte finish. And I like how even though it's super wet you still get enough product on the lips so you don't have to keep dipping it in just to get that color, but it does show up really nicely by itself. So on those days when I wanna wear like a brick red brown type of lip, I will reach for this one. Super pretty and super comfortable on the lips. So that is definitely one that I have been loving. And this next one is another one by NYX. This is their Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in the shade Cape Town and I like to pair this one with a lip liner. So the one by LA Girl in the shade Espresso. And I also like to pair this with two other um, liquid lipsticks by NYX, which I will show you guys in a minute. But this is what Cape Town looks like. Swatched, it's kind of light, but it is so pretty paired with a brown lip. So there it is right there. So this is what it looks like worn without pairing it with the lip liner. So you can see that it is kind of light, but once I apply the lip liner with it, it just kind of tones it down a little bit. You can still kind of see the color. So the lip liner doesn't really take away from the color. It just kind of tones it down and just makes it look more wearable for me. So like I said, I do like to pair um, the NYX Cape Town with two other NYX lip, um, matte lipsticks. And those are, one is called Leon and the other one is called Berlin. This is the lip combo that I had on in my recent video. And um, I actually wore this and talked about this. I think in a couple of other recent videos, but I love, love, love pairing these together. So first I'll go in with Berlin. So I like to pretty much line it with my lips and then I'll go in with Leon. And this one is like a, um, a muted mauve, really, really pretty. So I'll go in with that all over the lips. And then the last step I'll do is go in with um, Cape Town. And this one was the lighter one of the two, which is the one that we swatched before. So I'll just take this color and put it on the center of my lips and then kind of press my lips together. And it gives me the most beautiful everyday nude lip. I love love this combo but yes those are all of my favorite drugstore nude lip products and these are the ones that i just keep in my vanity that i reach for more than i do my other lip products so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any of these in your collection also if there are any other drugstore nude lip products that you guys love that you guys would think i would like let me know so let's go ahead and chit chat down below in the comments and i think 
that is all and by the way I am doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole entire year I know some of you are tired of me saying this but I like to say it at the end of my video so that way if you watch the video all the way through you deserve to enter the giveaway so I am doing this giveaway for the entire year like I said but I'm gonna be giving away one box to one person every single month now every box is gonna be different this is just a clip of what this month's box looks like so this is all of the goodies that I am going to be including in this month's box so it's super easy to enter all you have to do is for one be subscribed make sure you guys thumbs up the videos as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section so I don't want the comments to be anything about the giveaway let's just talk about what you guys just watched as far as the nude lip products or just anything relating to makeup like any suggestions anything that you guys think I would like let me know down below in the comments and I think that is all that I have so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye